Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are kicking off the third part of my makeup declutter and today we are focusing on the blush drawer. And the reason for that is I can almost barely closed the blush drawer. Everything does fit in there, but I just have to move things around kind of like a jigsaw puzzle for it to close. So it is much overdue for me to go through there, be honest with myself and get rid of some of the products that I just don't reach for or aren't the right shade for me anymore. Maybe there's something in there that I purchased and I just wasn't a fan of it when I purchased it. But you guys also, Please don't ask for any of the items that I am decluttering. I'm not sending used makeup to my subscribers. I have already had a girls night and my friends were able to come over and go through the items that I decluttered and add them to their collection. Some were things that just couldn't be kept and I did throw those items away. They never made it to the girls night. But you guys, I am long overdue. I say that it's only been like four or five months since I decluttered last time, but it was a rapid declutter and I have picked up some items since then. So we just need to make room in the drawers. But you guys, before we jump into it, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications, new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you get a big thumbs up. But if you want to see what items I get rid of in my blush drawer, just keep watching. Okay, on to blush in this drawer, it's actually quite bad. Um, I know that there's some that I need to get rid of and already in my head, like I think this one right here, uh, Shades by Shan blush palette. I wanted to like it. I mixed these two shades, but I have shades in my collection that are similar. So I'm going to pass this on. These two from RMS, I just picked them up. This one in Pomegranate Fizz is phenomenal, beautiful. And then Bohemian Girl. This one is one of the newer releases. I love the peachy shade. Are we surprised? If it's a peach shade, it's probably staying. But these two are stunning. If you haven't picked them up, check them out. Too Faced Cloud Crush in the shade Golden Hour. This is so stunning. And I wanna say at one point it was sold out on Sephora, like this shade in particular. It's a beautiful shade. I don't know that it's like sellout worthy, but it is beautiful. If you haven't like tried it, it's, really pretty. MAC, this is the Glow Play Blush and Cheer Up. I used this the other day, I haven't used it in a while and I still love it. If you do foundation and then your blush or foundation powder and then your blush, this is so stunning and it doesn't remove your makeup. ColourPop Drop of a Hat Super Shock Cheek. The Super Shocks, the one thing that you need to check is that they're still creamy and this one is not disappointing, it is beautiful. I'm gonna keep that because I do need some of the darker shades. This one in No Way. Oh, that one's stunning too. Very similar, but different undertones. So of course I'm keeping them. This one from Tinkerbell in Magic Moon. Still cream, oh, look at that. Mm, yes. Are there any, okay, here's another super shock. This one is Georgette. It does look like it is drying out. It's cracked, but we'll see. Let's do the swatch test really quick. It is drying out. And I really like this shade, but that was a test and I'm passing it to the trash bin. Sometimes you just need to swatch your blushes. All right, let's see. Let's get some of these out of the way. The Pella Talk Matte Blush Wand, as well as the Beauty Light Wand. These are phenomenal. I just picked them up this year. This one in, what is it, Pink Gasm Sunset. Absolutely stunning, especially if you're deeper tones. If you need a cool tone blush, this one in Pillow Talk for the matte, beautiful. They're staying. Go Go Tails, this is in shade 604. It's pretty, it's just not a shade that I gravitate towards. So I am going to pass this on. I did just get it this year, but it's not a tone I reach for. This one from Charlotte Tilbury, this is part of the holiday release. The Hollywood Blush and Glow Glide Palette. Really like this one, it is so pretty. Because it's blush and highlighter, it should technically be in my face palette drawer, which is where I'm gonna move it to. L'Oreal Infallible, this one I just picked up. I wanna say it's in, what is it, Fearless Coral. 
oh, that shade is pretty. And there is a mirror. So when you're traveling, Love Steady Liquid Blush from Moira. Really like this. This is the, I purchased at the same time as the contour. Love the formula. And it's affordable. Charlotte Hilberry Beach Stick. This one's in Los Salinas. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Kaja, the bouncy blendable blush in atmosphere. So beautiful. And it's kind of like a cream to powder type of formula. Stunning. The e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. This one I'm going to keep. It's in Candlelit. Oh, and here's another Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. This one is in Peach Gasm, which is also stunning. Danessa Myricks. Love her formulas. This one is in the shade Bread and Butter. Anastasia Beverly Hills Shade Bubblegum. I want to say I got rid of the other one. We'll find out here soon. This shade is really pretty, though. Just so glowy, especially for like spring and summer. Beautiful. Nope, I found the other one. So this one from Jacqueline's really pretty. It's back there. All right. We'll do both of these from Jacqueline. This shade right here in Plush Punch. It is very, I want to say it was like orangey. Yeah, it's just not my shade. I'm just not an orange blush kind of girl. So I'm going to pass that on. And then I am going to keep plush pink, which is really pretty. And a little goes a long way. <gasps> oh, I have another beach stick. This is in the shade Moon Beach. Also really pretty keeping that one too. Luxaza Blush. This is in shade 04. Really pretty and I'm going to keep this one. It is so gorgeous on the skin. I also have the NARS Orgasm in Orgasm. I had never used this in the video. I need to play around with it. I'll probably use it for work. All right, the Color Veil from Illamasqua. This is in the shade Tonic. It's also a very liquidy formula. Well, it's not, kind of, it's not really moving right now. I do need to use this more often. It is really pretty. Rare Beauty in the shade Adore. I love the small size. This is just like a sample that I got, but I just, I don't go through my blushes like that. So I'm gonna keep this one. And then also this one from M in the shade Venetian Rose. So beautiful. Juvia's Place, the Blush Rouge Volume 2. Really like these shade, and I actually blend these two together. So for now, I'm gonna keep this because I'm also looking at this one. This one looks a little like orangey, and I just got rid of that palette because I didn't wanna mix the shades. I'm going to pass this. I, it hurts because I love Juvia's Place, but I'm going to pass this on to a friend. I have so many blushes and yeah, I'm going to pass this on. Oh, I found more ColourPop. This is in Jolly. This is from the ColourPop and Candyland collaboration. Oh, so pretty. I think it's too light though. It's just, yeah, it's too light for me. This one in Mind Over Matter from Winnie the Poop. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Ooh, that's more of like a highlighter though. Mm. I think I'm gonna pass this one on. <laughs> this is my spare Luminoso, which one is it? I think I'm just finally gonna get rid of this one cause I'm almost, like I've hit pan on it but this one is fresh. <laughs> oh, I love this. I use it so much. Like, I don't want to waste it either. Like, that's bad, right? Maybe I should just pass this one on to a friend. And when I finally get rid of this one, I'm going to keep mine. I'm going to keep panning it. And I'm going to pass this on to a friend. Because it's not even the newer packaging. Like, that's the new packaging. And since we're already here... <laughs> I'm keeping both of these from Milani. Their big blushes are phenomenal. This one is in the shade Berry Amore. It is a little more like cool tone, so it's good for like fall. And then this one in, is it Be Bella Bellini? I love this shade. Look at that, it's stunning. Oh, I have the Juvia's Liquid Blush. This a little bit goes a long way. I have it in shade Peach Rose. I'm absolutely keeping this. 
blush stick from ColourPop. This is in the shade Cash In. I'm gonna get rid of it. There's like barely any color payoff. Elf Putty Bronzer, or no, Elf Putty Blush. <laughs> I wanna say this is Turks and Caicos. Where's the name of it? It is Turks and Caicos. The, the sticker is like the hardest to read, but the shade is beautiful. You guys, we are still on like cream blushes. These are from Merit. This one is in the shade Beverly Hills. I need to reach for these more. They're stunning. Look at that one. And then this one in Cheeky, which is a little bit deeper and is beautiful for the fall. So I'm gonna keep both of these. You guys, I'm finding more cream blushes back here. All right, the blush stick from ColourPop, Shell Out. I'm gonna keep that one, it's really pretty. The Blush from M -M -M Mitchell. This one is in the shade Peach Sugar. I really like this. I don't remember purchasing this. I might have gotten it in like a subscription box. Look at that beautiful shade. I need to use that more. And then from She Glam, this is the shade Devoted. I love this. Look at that. Stunning. Mm. Yep, keeping it. Kaja, this is feisty. Oh, this expired. Oh my goodness, this expired in 2021. <sighs> Let me show you what it is, but I'm not gonna keep it. I really want to, I just never ever reach for it. Cause I bet you the stamp is still like liquidy. Oh yeah, it is, look at it. Okay, see, this is why I'm getting rid of it. It's dried up. It's such a cute little concept. This is, Kaja is K-Beauty inspired, but their makeup is so cute. I love the simplicity of it and like, that's so adorable. But yeah, I should have thrown this away like two years ago now. We have the Jouer Blush and Bloom Cheek and Lip Duo. Ooh, it's so pretty. And this one, beautiful. I'm gonna keep both of those. I say both of those. It's literally a stick wand that they're attached. Never mind. All right, let me get some of these out of the way before I try and reach back here. Pat McGrath Labs, the, what is this? Skin Fetish Divine Blush in Flirtatious. Cool tone, good for like fall. It is a little more pale, but I do like this. It's beautiful. Patrick Ta blush in She's Passionate. I love his powder blushes and I'm trying to pick up some of the cream blushes. I think I just uh, picked up the palette that he released for the holidays, but I'm excited. I love his blushes. NARS Orgasm, you guys know I'm not getting rid of this. And it's the massive size. It's stunning. Huda Beauty Love Fest. I just used this when I tried out the Pretty Grunge palette. This is in Toasted Tangerine. It is beautiful. I don't know if you can still see the shift. It used to say love. Smashbox and Vlada, the Petal Metal Highlighter. I have it in the blush drawer because I use it as a topper sometimes. It is stunning. All right, we're on to ColourPop. So I have Mulan Good Luck Charm. Uh, I wanna keep it, but it's just not a shade that I like reach for. I just need to be honest with myself. ColourPop Meteorite. It's pretty, it's just kind of pale. Mm, I think I'm gonna pass that on. Love Story from ColourPop. I'm keeping that one, it is a peachy shade. And you put that at the front. And this one from Alice in Wonderland in Oh Dear. Yeah, I'm keeping that one, it's really pretty. I have a couple more from ColourPop back here. These were from the Peach Collection, so Fresh and Peachy, keeping that one. Are we surprised? I love peachy shades. And then this one is Frisky Business, also keeping. L'Oreal Blush Please, this is the Shimmering Blush in Rivera. Absolutely love this. There is a lot of glitter in it, so I can't wear it for work, but it is stunning. Do you just see all that glitter, you guys? Ugh. It reminds me of NARS Orgasm, just in like a creamy form. Where can I put that? Moira, I love the ombre blushes. I have the shade Mellow Pink. Look 
at that, it's beautiful. Ofra Blush Bellini. Love this, it's so beautiful. And from LYS, this is their, I think, cream blush and confident. Really pretty, I need to use this more. Tarte Amazonian Clay and Quirky. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. Item Beauty, this is a shade I'm crushing. It's a little bit deeper, but I absolutely love that. Look at it. MAC Extra Dimension Blush and Sweets for My Sweet. This shade is stunning. If you want like a sheen, just this is beautiful. NARS Laguna. Wait, this is, this is a bronzer. It's taking up space in the wrong drawer. This is gonna go into my bronzer drawer. Too Faced Love Flush Love Yourself. Ooh, I think I found this at like TJ Maxx. I just got this one, it's really cute. And then the Laura Geller Baked Blush in the shade Tropic Hues. Really like this one. Kiko Milano, their baked products are phenomenal. This is their Better Coral Blush Trio. Look at that, so beautiful. When you mix it all together, it's just a beautiful sheen. Well, moving them over didn't get them out of my way. Okay, we have the Kaleidos Mono Blush and Pale Rose. There's another one in here. I thought I only kept, I thought I kept two of them. I know, I heard one, something fall earlier. It might've been the other blush. It's really pale, but I like it. So I'm gonna keep that one. Look at the packaging, it is stunning. This is actually, two of the blushes are actually in the holiday giveaway. That's ending January 15th. Oh, I can't reach it. You guys, it is stuck, <laughs> the lipstick drawer, and I'm not in the capacity right now to try and m unmess up my drawers. <laughs> so when I get there, I will, I'll make a decision. I'm pretty sure I'm keeping it though. All right, so from Kim Shi Chic, the Thaler Blush in Grace. This one is beautiful. I love this. You can just do the peachy or you can add in the highlighter looking shade. It is stunning. Vanessa Myricks, these are absolutely phenomenal. I actually mixed these two shades last time. Beautiful, and I cannot wait to use these ones, especially for like more muted, cool tones. This is what I use as a blush topper. It's from ColourPop in the shade Charleston. It's a beautiful loose powder. Too Faced, um, I don't know the shades. These are pretty, I just don't reach for them. They're like in the back of my drawer. I need to reach for them though because they are beautiful. Look at all of those shades. All right. And then the blush palettes. This one from Alomar in medium tan. So you've got the Colorette Blush Trio. These shades are beautiful and I actually mix them quite a bit. Sometimes I'll do the peach on its own. Sometimes I'll mute it down with that one or I'll like any of these on their own or mixed together, stunning. Eloise Secret Garden, this palette was sold out when I talked about it in one of my videos. It is absolutely phenomenal. You know I'm keeping this in my collection. It is stunning. Jaclyn Rouge Romance. I mean, there's some deep shades and I love this. Not so much into the tea room, which is orange, but the rest of the shades are beautiful. Laura Lee Blush Aesthetic. I love this, it is so pretty. And you have eight shades in here, uh, including, including Golden Haze, which looks like a highlighter or a blush topper if you wanna have that sheen, just mix them together. And from Melt, this was the, I can't remember the name of the palette, Monarca, beautiful, I really like these. I need to like find a place to put my palettes where I can reach them more because I just don't get some use out of them because you saw how this was blocked. Okay, now on to this last little bit. Let's see, I can slide this over. All right, so I have these ones from Benefit. 
Okay, we've talked about it in previous videos. I like this newer packaging where it's slimmed down by this honking package. And this is just the minis. I like the fact that I can buy them in mini form in the boxes and it, it's beautiful. This one in Krista and this one in Shelly. Absolutely keeping those. Um, Gold Rush. I think I have this in a Benefit blush palette. If I do, I will pass this on to a friend, but I am also panning it, so might as well, I'll probably just throw it away. No one wants severely used blush. I also need to find out if I still have it. From Too Faced Apricot in the Act. This is so cute mixed together. Iconic London Kiss by the Sun Multi-Use Cheek Glow in Playtime. I just got this this year and it's absolutely stunning. I want to pick it up in a couple more shades. Physician's Formula Strawberry Jam. Such a cute, sh it, it was so cute. It had strawberries on it and it smells like strawberries, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. It's kind of pale for me. It's so cute though and it smells so delicious. Hourglass Diffusey. Oh, I need to declutter this one. I have it in the palette that I just got this year from Hourglass. So I'm going to pass this on to a friend. I know that there's someone out there that wants this. ColourPop Let's Dance Pressed Powder Blush. I'm going to keep this. There was like a whole collection of them that got released. This is the only one that I kept. Bare Minerals Bronzer. Bronzer. It's not. It's not a bronzer. It's not a blush. Well, it's a blush. It's not a bronzer. This is in the shade Kiss of Pink. I love this one. Sigma in Sunset Kiss. I love Sigma blushes. Beautiful. From Lethal Cosmetics. I don't remember what shade this is. But they do their individual blushes. So stunning. All right, we have Too Faced. Too Femme, the Butterfly Babe. Really pretty. Oh. This shade is really pretty and there is a sheen to it. Kylie and the Grinch. This one's in Max the Reindeer. It's pretty. I think I've gotten rid of all my other Kylie blushes. I think I'm going to keep this one because I do still like the shade of it though. And it's the Grinch. Kaleidos. I remember there weren't stickers on here so I don't know the names of them. I'm keeping that blush. It is so pretty. All right, now let's put them all back.
Okay, you guys, it's not perfect. I like these ones right here are <sighs> irking my nerves, um, but it's better than it was. And for what I got rid of, we have one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. So 15 blushes. I think I did pretty dang good because I do like my blushes. Okay, you guys, that is it for the blush drawer declutter. And I know to some 14 doesn't seem like a lot of makeup to be decluttered since I do purchase all of those items myself or have received them in subscription boxes that I've received after I've paid for them. To me, I am only going to declutter the things that I am no longer in love with. Otherwise, they're going to stay in my collection. I did start my YouTube channel back in 2018. So I have a more extensive collection than any one person might need. But I am very particular on the items that I keep and get rid of. But you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications and videos. And if you like this video, make sure you hit a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one.